film where it's so informative. Yes. I'll probably could get sued. Okay, so anybody who knows me and obviously my love for the ID channel, they have a new show on the ID channel. And there's two episodes out right now. You can only watch the second episode on the go. You have anybody who watches it on like the cable has not seen it yet. So the one I'm telling you about, you can only go and watch it if you have access to the go. So I have to watch it over here with you. No, Please. you should have it on yours. You should have it on yours. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, you should be fine. If you want to watch this, you should be fine. It's called Torn from the Headlines, the New York Post reports. Mm -hmm. Bitchin'. The first one, I didn't watch closely enough because my kids were in the room and it was like a legit murder. Like there was a body found in a rug. And so when those episodes are on, I turn it down really, really low. Yeah. So my kids can't hear it. Yeah. And you're just reading. Yeah. And I went like, trying to read the bottom of the screen as fast as I can, but then it just like fucks me up. But before well, we do that. you have a two and a six year old, so. Yeah. Before we do that movie. though, I gotta tell you, this came to me the other day when for some reason, my grandma popped into my head because she was super relig super religious. And every time anything ever happened, she was the first person to be like, God doesn't give you a mountain you can't climb. He doesn't challenge you with things he doesn't know you can't overcome. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. That's always been like her thing. And it came to me that the universe broke my ankle on purpose because they know that I do not have the anger management skills to go to work in the environment that I'd be put in. See? Yep, I agree. So the universe, 100%. yeah, the universe broke me mm -hmm. so that I didn't go to jail. So I don't know if I could bond you out on a murder charge. Because I think, or attempted I think if charge. I was at my place of employment and I don't even like to see co-workers bullied by people because they all mad dog customers if I know you were a dick like I'll let you know that I know that you were an asshole to that person uh -huh. I'm very good at that you don't need to be mean to people there's no need I'm very good at pointing that out to people like oh you're having a horrible day <laughs> you are miserable today it adds to the zombie apocalypse because yeah. then you're like ma'am and you've asked so, like, that I question, would, and yeah. she has that look on her face because she's heard that same question 50,000 times. Everybody, I see day. everybody's posts on Facebook, and I'm like, oh, I pray for you. I do have to say, though, that they did a bake sale. This is coming out. We're recording it today. It's coming out on Sunday. So they would have done my bake sale on Thursday. Sweet. I was going to ask that one. Yeah. So they're super sweet. I guess they miss me. I miss all of those fuckers too. But I'm like, their posts are pissing me off because they're like, if one more person yells at me, and I'm like, ooh, if I was there, mm -mm, you don't yell. We don't need to yell. No, it's panic. And over toilet paper. You're lying paper, about the toilet paper. <laughs> over toilet paper? You're lying. Like, you want me to make you feel stupid over toilet paper because I will. Like, if you want to make yourself feel dumb, like, this is why they broke my ankle. This is why. And I'm not even religious. But, like, I guess I got to shout it out to the G.O.D. Because, like, he had a plan. You know, and it's... Grandma it's, was it's, right. I'm irritated because I've gone... Every God store bless. I've gone to, I've gone and looked mm -hmm. for Euconasia Golden Seal. No. What the fuck is that? That helps your autoimmune disease. Oh. Or, well, no. Oh. Boost it up and shit with your vitamin C. Thank God my mm. shit's all, like, my incisions are all healed up. Because, like, the first aid's, like, swiped out. So, like, crippled people like me weren't able to make it to the store in time. So we're just all going to get mass infections and die. Just kidding. I don't have an infection. Everybody else is fucked, not me. I'm good. But anyway. So, yeah. That thought came to me. And so I think it's true. It has to be. Because, like, I think my grand, like, I don't know why. Literally, I was sitting in bed and I just started laughing. Because I was like, God doesn't give you a mountain you can't climb, right? And that just went, came into my head. I started laughing. I was like, yep, this was planned. The earth knew what it was doing. Yep. It saved me from jail. Yep. I have good karma. You're and angels like, you put think, black eyes there. Yeah, you think it's bad luck. 
because mm-hmm. it's shitty. And then Corona comes. And then you're like, oh, blessing in disguise. I'm glad you have a positive attitude I do, now about this. And now I just laugh because I have to send my husband to the store. So I'm like, technically you're the man anyway. So if zombies fucking come, technically aren't you supposed to make it before the weak poor little girl? Yeah. You know what I mean? Movies have told me I die. Why don't they just solve the problem at Walmart? And, just and have people, people that just, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Actually, have everybody do online like a drug order house. or stand there, yeah, stand there, like a drug and house. You tell people, yeah, like a drug house, like whisper to me through the door. Because of all the dumbasses, everybody lost their privileges. Make a line. Sorry, guys. Make a line. Yeah. Well, we can have a few lines, and then you have the runners, yeah. and you know, and we you can pass out menus the along the way yeah. while people are standing there for an hour. Sure. Like, make sure you have a list, and we'll just get it for you and meet you back at the door. And 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But it's my dear people. Is it true? Are they already they doing that cup thing? I'm trying to remember if that's what Esperanza said, that they have to put, that you put money in the, the one cup, and the cashier takes that, and then she puts the change in this cup and hands you your change when you pay with cash. I haven't experienced Fun. that. I don't know. I haven't been to stores. That's just it. Is I feel like I'm gonna sit here, and if I don't, you're gonna miss everything. I'm gonna miss the whole thing, and I'm gonna go back to the store, and it's gonna be normal. Like, what and I'm gonna be like, why are you about? guys so dramatic? Because everybody's gonna be coming off this adrenaline rush high, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be like, why are you guys such assholes? And they're gonna be like, you don't understand. And I'm like, I don't. So I don't know. But then again, Trump said that this can go as long as July or August. So the end of times, July 22nd or into August, which is probably going to be past August. That is not the end of time. But, okay, so my aunt shares this podcast. Every time I post one, my sweet aunt, your mother-in-law. Yeah, thank you. She shares it. Yes. Don't know if she listens to it. I do too. Does she listen to it? Do you know? I don't know. Yeah. She actually does? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm not scared. I'm scared. It's I fine. don't listen to our podcast. Like, sometimes okay. if I have to spend three hours folding laundry because the mountain and it won't go away until I put it away. Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh, if this goes on long enough and they keep closing places down, we might not have to do a reunion. I'm just saying. But we Destiny we'll, listens we'll, to this, so, like, I'm just like, this is, like, secret language, you know? Kind we'll of. plan it on it. It might not happen. We'll plan on it. I'm just kidding. It will And happen. then... We'll have pizza. I'm going for the pizza. Fuck y'all. But so good. So bad. Oh, the high sea pizza? Yeah. Jeremy drives up there just for pizza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I didn't pick that place for no reason. You can go down a water slide and have an ice cream cone. Yeah. Magic. And then go sit in a hot tub and then get sick and then throw up and then do it again. Why would you get sick? I've always done that to myself. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm one of those people that has to plug my nose. I have to do it with my thinkies. And so sometimes it still gets in there. And so it's like I get like all this water in there from like the slide and like the coming down. I don't plug my nose in time. So it's like, (laughs) and then I go get an ice cream and then I run over and then I sit in that hot thingy that smells like rotten eggs. And then I'm like, ugh. And then I get out of that, and then I, like, try to go back over to the pole, and then on my way back, I throw up, and then I do it all over again. Because I'm psychotic. But (laughs) it's fine. It's fine. That's what we're doing for this year, if anybody's interested. We're going to high C. We won't say when, obviously, until it's time, so they can't bomb us. But it's fun. It's not going to get canceled because of Corona. No. Oh, this is a two week thing. No. Well, no, it's it's already been longer. So, no, Jean. It just barely got here. Girl, slow down. We haven't (laughs) even gotten crazy yet. Like, we've gotten crazy, but not crazy. Mm. The Mormon, guys, the Mormon shut down. (laughs) And for that to happen in Idaho, blasphemy. So, if the Mormon shut down, I have a reason to believe I could be scared. I heard, um... I have fear of something. I don't know if it was if it was Catholics or other churches shut down, too. Yeah, they, no, they all did. Mm-hmm. 
But just majority around here. Oh, yeah. You no, know what I'm saying? Thing. If the LDS shut down, I, I get scared. Because mm-hmm. those people are serious. So, I don't know. When I, when I got on Facebook that morning and it said, church is canceled, I literally looked at Eric and I was like, shit is serious. Yeah. Like, this is no joke no more. Like, this is... The Mormons it's closed. Serious. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's spread fast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And like, you went from like you can have like a gathering of fifty to ten. Like they dropped it from fifty to ten. They're like fifty ten. Okay, you and like two and a half other people can be in the same room together, or else someone's getting corona. God bless it. When I had the. Um, QuickBooks lady come over yesterday. I called before the appointment and I had to leave her a message. I was like, I'm just letting you know that I have a cough. (laughs) I've had this cough for a long (laughs) time. I don't have a fever. My my chest doesn't hurt, but yes. You gotta go through all the steps. Yeah. And And then she called me back and she was like, oh, I I have a grandson, so I already have little cough sniffles. So, if you feel comfortable... So, I'll she has it. the corona, and you invited her over. Yeah, and now I'm here. Blasphemy. Oh, God. <laughs> and we all just got over the corona, so... Fuck. Just that kidding. that was that meme. Did you see that? Yeah, that cute little girl. Oh, no. Oh, what one? Besides that one. <laughs> it was, um, you guys call it corona in Idaho, we call it stretch rope. Yeah. That was back before it was serious, so. though. But, yeah. It's obviously wrong. And it's seriousness. But anyway, obviously, since we're in isolation, I decided I would check this out for you guys. I thought I would just do it. Mm-hmm. And on behalf of the world, I would watch this episode and tell you guys. Well, thank you. Yeah. I thought I would be nice. It took me 12 minutes to get around to that point. Yes. Some guy on YouTube, he... Well, thank I you thanked for, him. Thank you I for thanked your, him because yep. it really was like, oh shit, I do need to be careful about the way that I word the titles. Mm-hmm. But he pointed it out to me. And so now I think of that. So I'm like, I need to do like all my bullshit talking that I like to do at the beginning. Or the, like I need to pick a spot. You know what I mean? But we tend to rant. I do it all the way through. Oh, no. But like the dumb me dumb too. shit. I gotta do, like, we gotta do it at the beginning, mm-hmm. you know? Like, we do, obviously, because we started out on a banter. But we get off on t- little tangents and yeah. side notes and stuff. So well, and then, so, when I saw that there was... Side effect. <laughs> when I saw that there was the second episode bonus of this show, I was like, well, I'll watch that. And it just came out. Yesterday was the premiere on Monday. Monday. So, we're recording on Tuesday. So, yeah, Monday, it premiered. So, it's brand spanking new by the time we talk to it talk to you you guys hear this it's monday's episode so feel free to miss it or watch it okay okay <clears throat> that took me a long time to get around to that this one's called the the tuxedo king so i'm gonna say this name and no it is not the monster it's the other one He's the first one. I can't believe there's more than one person. There is. His name is Harvey Weinstein. I double checked, <laughs> folks, and she's correct. It's Harvey Weinstein. Yes. <laughs> and he was abducted at Knife Point oh, on August 4th of 1993. And he was he had a local routine of going and um, Where's he from? New York. Um, he would go and have breakfast at his normal chill spot. Mm-hmm. And then he'd go about his day. And he owned the tuxedo. He was in the tuxedo business where they made tuxedos. Like oh. sodom. Yeah. Custom fit. Tailored. Yeah. yeah. He was big into that. So he abducted, like I said, abducted at knife point in his own vehicle. His vehicle is taken with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So his family starts getting calls for ransom money and they want 
$3 million. And they want $2 million of it in $100 bills. And then $1 million of it in 50s. And like not to call the police, obviously. These, and it's a woman that's calling the family. And did they have money? No. Oh, who? Wait, the guy, Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's like a million. He's fallen. Oh okay. He's very. He's like in New York, famous mm -hmm. for his suits. So he's very big, mm -hmm. especially back then. He did a bunch of immigrant with immigrant workers mm -hmm. in his sew factory, but they loved him. Adored him. Mm -hmm. So his family was called. He was good to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I get a picture. I was just thinking it was like a, a little small shop on the corner. In oh, no. New York rents five grand, I'm sure, on some kind. No, he was, it was the Lord West Formal Fa Wear Factory, is what he owned. Okay. So it was an operation. So it was huge. But, um,. They called themselves the Black Cat Operation. The kidnappers? Yeah. Oh. A male and a female would call. They did the man's. So, this whole time, when they kidnap him, they chain him up and they take him to a lot where it's along the, it's along the parkway. So, it's like super loud. Mm -hmm. You can always like... But no one's ever going to look for you there. It's mm. insane. These people, I don't want to tell you who it is yet, but these people go and they dig a hole that's 14 feet deep, five foot wide. On the side of the highway? Along the parkway. Yeah. On the side of the parkway. Like with the one where a million cars go by yeah. in both directions, super busy. There wasn't yeah. um, transient homeless along, sometimes... They have a metal thingy over the top of it. Oh, Jesus. And, like, sticks. They put him in there. So it was a cage. It was a great. Dude. Like, he didn't, they didn't even feed him or give him any water or anything for the first three days. What do you mean? They didn't, they just tossed him in there and started, like, making ransoms. And his family, no joke, was like, dude, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Like, and the cops were like, well, let's just give him fake money. And they're like, no. Like, they can get their fucking money. We want our dad back. Mm -hmm. Give me my dad. We're, we'll be fine. Huh. And the family made multiple attempts to do mon to do drops with them, but they wouldn't show. Like, they kept fucking with them. But, like, the first couple of times, they wouldn't show. So, finally, they were like, you need to prove, like, give us proof of life. So, Harvey gets to call his kids. And so, they can tell by their dad's voice that he is not being well taken care of. He's weak. Like, the first thing they gave him to eat in the, at least in the show, they say is a banana and an apple. And he he's a former Marine. Mm -hmm. And so he knows in his head he has to eat the banana first because the banana will go bad. Mm -hmm. So he knows he has to eat that no matter what. He has to eat the whole thing. Like, it has to go. But he can spare the banana. Like, the apple, I mean. So he, like, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> so, like I said, they keep, the family did an awesome job, the police did an awesome job of not letting the kidnappers know that they know. Mm -hmm. Like, it was all, like, secret, secret shit. And the reason how the New York Post got the story is they <clears throat> had a guy that goes there back in the day you would just go and like listen around and hang out, out a story station? yeah get a story or whatever mm -hmm. and he said he went there one day and everybody got like shady quiet when he walked in the room and so he was like i know something's a mess like i know it and he finally got someone to tell him and he wrote the story and then they found out that he wrote the story and they went to him and they were like dude listen if you publish that he will die like this guy will die his blood will be on you like yeah. <clears throat> do Don't not do it. do it he's like in there they, they tell him they're like if you hold off and we find him you are going to be the first guy we let on 
Like you will be. You'll have your exclusive. You'll have the exclusive story. You'll be right here in the hustle and the bustle with me. So. <sighs> okay. That and the family, I'm sure, would probably take that man to the cleaners. Right. You know. So, twelve days. With a banana and an apple? I don't, well, no, they feed him a couple more times. Oh, God. They don't go out there often, though. They don't. He is out there, dude, by himself. Just listening to the highway. Just, yeah, dude, by himself in, in a fucking grave. Yeah. For 12 days. 12 days. So 12 days later, one of his sons is directed to a series of locations in Upper Manhattan before being instructed to leave the ransom near the High Bridge Park on 190th Street near Amsterdam Avenue. Mm -hmm. So the cops watch from a distance the cash, okay, they watch it, <clears throat> in two stalls. Once was picked, oh, and then it was picked up, okay? And it was taken to the High Bridge Park where this guy met up with another person. One bag had millions was left behind in the park and later recovered by the police because oh. they got scared. But by three hours and ten minutes after the pickup, cops weren't told where to find the Weinstein, Harvey. 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 No one tells, and that's the deal. It's like you get your money, and they say like in this, in like three hours, we'll tell you where he is. Like wait three hours. Oh, hell let us get no. away. <clears throat> we'll oh, let you know. No. We'll call you and tell you where you can find Harvey. Is what happens. Is what they say. So they can't find him. But they've been following the vehicle that picked up the cash. They've been followed. They've been uh -huh. secretly still following. So they go over the radio and they're like, "All right, get him." Go get him. They won't tell us where he is, so go snatch him up. He is betrayed. Harvey. Poor Harvey is betrayed. Who had him kidnapped? You guys, he is fucking betrayed. Ugh. He was betrayed by Antonio Rodriguez from Jackson Heights in Queens and his brother and his friend and the girlfriend of the brother. They were former workers of Weinstein's. He was a sew guy. He would sew the suits. Mm -hmm. Taylor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was, and he loved his employees. Like he was so amazing. He went back to work the following Monday. Like they found him and he was like, well, I gotta go back to work. And, like, when he showed up to work, the news was there. Oh, fuck. And they had, like, a, like his employees were crying and, like, worshipping this man. And just so happy that he was found alive. Mm -hmm. And, like, the first thing he said when he came up out of his hole was, like, can I have a cigarette? Oh, this has been a minute. I need a cigarette. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. And everybody just, like, chuckled and was like, <laughs> that's Harvey. And it was, like, funny, I guess. But, yeah, he told everybody that it was, like, living in hell, obviously. Well, yeah. Like, 12 days. 13, I think it came out to be. But, like, so the they get him to tell him, like, he confesses, obviously. And they're like, well, take us to where he is. Well, where he is, they can't, the one cop is like, no, I'm not going up there. That's a lot of effort. I'll stay down here with this guy in handcuffs who can't make it without being hand without being unhandcuffed. Mm -hmm. So two other cops go up there and they're walking it and they're like, he's not up here. Like, there's nothing up here. And then they get quiet and then they can hear him. Because he heard them. Because he heard them. Yeah. And so he's like, help, I'm down here. Help, I'm down here. And there was a hundred, it was 120 pounds, like a hundred, a steel door placed on top of the hole. Oh, fuck. Like he could get up to like the like little crease or whatever, but he was so weak that he couldn't push the 
steal door out of his way to get out. Lucky he didn't suffocate, yo. Yeah. You didn't tell me that. You said they put sticks and a grate on top. No, it was a steel door. It was a 120 pound fucking like steel door. It took both cops, one on one end and one on the other, to flip it over. Like it was like a big ass fucking hole covered by a big old piece of steel with some sticks and stuff on top. Like it was just like walked over. Like you could just walk over him and if he was so weak, like. Yeah. Yeah. And he was there the whole time. It was like five blocks away or some shit they said on the episode or something like that. Like it was just crazy. And they found his car and it had been like waxed and like detailed and like cleaned immaculately. And the cops were like, well, your car is never that clean unless there's obviously been a crime committed. No one's car is that clean just because. Mm -hmm. Just not. But he lived. Wow. Yeah. And they caught the bad guys? Yeah. Okay. So and what they happened got him. to them? And 10 days Ferman in jail? Rodriguez okay. was sentenced to 20 years to life. Good. His brother served 15 years and was paroled and turned over to immigration on January 20th of 2018 and deported to his native Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Riviera pled guilty to kidnapping and conspiracy and was sentenced to 12 and a half to 30 years and was paroled on August 10th, 2010. Um, Lenore was, um, is now released from the Bayview Corrections Facility in Chelsea, New York. And her, she got paroled no later than April 12th of 2010. So, so they're all then, paroled. Yeah. yeah. They're all paroled because he didn't die. Mm-hmm. But three of his workers tried to get away with just kidnapping this dude. And then you have to go and your name's Harvey Weinstein. Mm-hmm. I mean, he died. Harvey. Harvey one died in... 07. So, he didn't have to see his name get tarnished as shit. Yeah. But, this sweet guy. He retired, though. Like, he re he got some retired time under him. He went back to work for a long time and, like, continued to just be him. And he didn't let it get him down. He wrote a book. Um. I say, um. Huh? But, yeah, I don't know. It was just amazing because someone asked him, like, how did he get through or something like that? Like, how did he make it through the whole thing? And he was like, 50 years in the, in the Marine Corps, baby, or something like that. But, like, it was, like, his Marine Corps experience because, like, it took him back to bunker days. Yeah. Like, he was just like, I'm bunkering. And he just went back into survival mode. And, like, he wasn't going to let these bitch-ass people kill him and die in a fucking hole. You know what I mean? He sat down in that hole and had that moment of, like, I'm fucking Harvey goddamn Weinstein. Mm-hmm. I will not die in this goddamn hole. Mm-hmm. And he didn't. Imagine your ability, your strength. Yeah. And you're fucking 60-something plus years old already. Like... You're already about to kick the bucket at any given point in time, fall, broke it, break a hip. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're already 60 yeah. something at the time. 64 or something like well, that. Well, and when you're confined in a space that small, mm -hmm. you have to. Yeah, that's You not have to very work big. out. You know. That's not very big at all. Do the burpees and, and jumping jacks. And 14 foot by 5 foot wide. 14 foot deep, 5 foot wide shaped like a wheelbarrow so I think I would have had a panic attack you yeah know? dude and like that's the thing like What's I would have died feet, really? I would have panicked so much that I would have like killed myself like I would have panicked myself to death like I would have just panicked and he's chained 
and everything. So he can't do the working out and all that. He can't. He's chained up. Oh, they tossed him in there. And we're like, well, adios, bro. When your family plays. But, like, it took them so long. Because, like, they could have gotten their money the day they called. And it would have been over with. But for some reason, they fucked with them. Why? For the whole 12 days until they, the final day. I don't know why. To scared. I would be scared. Because, I mean, you think it's a great idea, but then you do it, and then, like... What now? Now we have Harvey. We'll step up, get it, you know? Yeah. Like, who's going to be brave enough to go get the bag of money? Which one of us, out of the three of us, are going to go and get that bag? But the cops did an amazing job, and he was obviously a big enough figure that they were like, we can't let this shit hit the fan. Mm Mm-hmm. So let's... Let's handle this like professionals. And they did. They did very beautifully. And the press, they did a huge like press conference thing too where they thanked the press and like they thanked the reporter. The dude. That had the inside shut. note and they were like, you don't understand. Like it made such a positive leap towards um, police and press back then. Like it showed in New York anyway, like this trust. Mm-hmm. That they weren't going to open their mouths if they knew they shouldn't open their mouths. Which is hard for a reporter because as a reporter, your job is to inform the public. And knowing that you have the inside story to Harvey Weinstein, the king of tuxedos, fucking is been kidnapped. Yeah. And he has a $3 million ransom. It's ins- it's crazy. I'm glad they found him. Yeah, alive. So, I mean, that's... That's survival right there. And he's still got to grow old, which is beautiful. And it just... I don't know, man. The willpower of someone like that at that age to still not want to just give up and die is amazing. Mm-hmm. And it blew me away. And the whole time I was watching it, because like they, sh- they keep showing him down there, and you're like, oh, he died. Oh, no, he didn't. Because then he moves. And then it shows him again. And you're like, R.I.P. And they're like, no. He lived. with us. And I'm like, damn. 12 days, I would have not lasted. Well, Marine Corps is serious. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. And the name. when they, Every time they said the name, you could tell the people were like, Harvey Wines. It's not the same And, one. like, you know that they want to say that. They want to be, like, the first one. Mm-hmm. Not the douche. Not, not the bad one. <laughs> not, not the rapiest. But, you know. So that's the second episode that will come on tomorrow. From the day that you're listening to this. On the ID channel. Oh, good. So go ahead and check it out. You get to see this cute old guy. I don't know. And I realized... The one complaint I have about the ID channel is they do horrible, horrible job at matching up people that look like the people. You know what I mean? Like, I was watching Different this. perspective. Yep. And, okay, so everybody has Netflix. Yeah. Yes. Another show recommendation I'm going to do is watch the 100 people. Right there, it tells you. It's proof. It's, I'm sorry, people, it's just the way of the world. But, like, the way you look, you get judged. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's the way it is. And the ID channel has this way, and, like, you watch it the whole time, and, like, they show you this pretty, gorgeous, crazy bitch. Okay. And then at the end of the episode, they're like mugshot. And you're like, holy shit! What happened? <laughs> That's who that was? Oh, okay. Mm, that bitch looked crazy. Uh-huh. All right, all right. And if you would have showed me the mugshot at the beginning of the show, I would have been more invested. Yeah. Because I'd have been like, the bitch looks crazy. But you showed me princess. And really, it's the ogre that I needed to see. And I felt bad for the princess. I'm like, well, she had to kill everybody. She was pretty. 
who is sad for her. And then you see the person, and that, it's just, I'm a human, I'm sorry. And I'm deadly honest. But like, the pretty person, you're like, that's sad. And the not, you're like, okay, well. That's what happens. That's what happens. But the pretty person, you're like, sad. And the 100 people pretty much just tells you I'm right. They did like a uniform challenge where it's like they go and talk. They have like 100 people talk to, a, I don't know, like a handful of people. A handful is five in uniform. And then this a different group of 100 people go and talk to those same people, but they're dressed normal. All those people were like, oh, God, he's weird. But like when he was in the uniform, they were like, yeah, I could fuck the burger boy. Mm -hmm. For sure. But like in his regular clothes, they're like, no. He's a creep. And it just shows you that I'm right. Yeah. And like they did the same thing where they did like a test for like, they said, okay, you get a sentence to people. These people have already been convicted of a crime. It's a lie. But they show you two pictures. Same crime. Uh-huh. Two different faces. And one of them was a, a mom, a quote-unquote mom, who left her baby in the car. Baby died. Hot day, baby died. Hypothetically, crime. Okay? The ghetto-looking mom that looks like she's from the hood, mm -hmm. straight up there, like 37 years in prison. Bitch needs to be locked away. Needs to learn a lesson. Yeah. She needs to learn a lesson. Then they show this adorable blonde who's gorgeous beyond a belief. And they're like, you know what? She's going to live with this for the rest of her life. That's punishment enough. Oh, it was an accident. It was an accident. Yep. She didn't mean for it to happen. I mean, was how was her stress level? Like, they took so many other things into consideration than the ghetto mom. The yeah. ghetto mom, they're like, that bitch knew better. Yeah. She's from a hard rock life. She knew better. She wanted to just do it. Yeah, she did it for attention. But the cute mom, they're like, like 13 years. Like, that's sad enough. She's going to hate herself enough. She still needs to be able to have a life. Wow. And dude, every crime, it was literally the difference of years by the way people looked. Same crime. Same crime. And... If you have a wart on your face, you probably will go to prison versus if you do not. And they even talked to a lawyer on that show and that guy is like, yeah, huh. pretty people don't go to jail as often as you think they do. Crazy. And that show just proved it. So I sat there with a big old head the other day watching it and I was like, ha ha, I knew. I cracked the code to the world. You know, I was just, yeah, I thought that was just the same. I'm too cute for prison. No, so it's I serious. It's serious, yeah. No, it's damn serious. The baby killer one was serious, dude. That was like an eye opener. Because literally, the only difference is the way these two bitches looked. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was it. And one chick, they were like 37 years. Horrible person. And then the other, both white, okay? And uh -huh. there was no discrimination in color. And then the other one was Casey Anthony. Serious, bro, serious, yeah! Oh, That's who it know. should have been. <laughs> but obviously now we all hate her. When it's too late, we all hate her. Now she did it, after court. But <laughs> just like Casey Anthony, dude. That bitch was up on tables. Uh -huh. Up on tables at the club. People grieve in different ways. Yeah, when you're the only one who knows. <laughs> I'm sure you do. But yeah, it's crazy. Oh, that's the way society is. So watch that show. If you guys want a good show to watch, I'm not even kidding. The 100? The 100 people or something like that. And so it's just like... A bunch of different It's episodes. reality, but yeah. it's, it's, it's... It's it's three people. Like, what would you do? If yeah. you ever watch that show? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's three people mm -hmm. who literally just want to know they're like is everybody the same way like one other test they did was 
people say that if you male, guys that dance better have a higher sperm count mm-hmm. and so they did a dance off but before the dance off the dudes donated their sperm to this test and they got a sample there and it's not true obviously because like the guy who got second place had the highest sperm count spoiler alert but he had better swimmers than the guy who got first place oh wow so it's not true yeah. but it's it was still silly. tested but like the uniform one eye opening because you're like that is so sad it's the same person yeah the same person true it's completely so different yeah completely different by a whole other group of people like one group met them as the lies that they had and they told the same stories yeah same stories only difference was the clothes and people got that talked to them without uniforms were like what weirdos why like the burger boy told a joke and so like he told the same joke Mm -hmm. and then they did another one where it was like are you more attractive when you're funny versus when you're not funny so they had two comedians go into two rooms tell this tell a story but tell it very bland and normal and slow like a story Mm -hmm. so it's not funny it's just a story with melatonin and then they go into the other room they tell the same story but they do it with all the puns and the ha-has and the jabs and they get you right where they get you the joke of it all Mm -hmm. and so you're laughing the whole time and so the people that heard the story when it was funny were like, oh yeah, I'd fuck him. For sure. Yeah. And everybody who heard the other story was like, he doesn't get laid at all. No. Like, he is the gayest of the gay. So it was just amazing. It's a good show. And yeah. So. Since everybody's in quarantine, I've been watching shows. So yeah. that's what I've watched for you. I've been playing a lot of cards. Darts. I don't do that. I don't do those. I cover. Oh, good. That's a covering masterpiece right there next to your face. This one? Yeah, my kids That's pick cute. out. My kids pick out pictures in the covering book. Good. To have me cover for them. You still have the. the don't. I. They don't want me to do it because it bleeds through and then it ruins it. Um. They're cute like that. But yeah, I'm spending my time watching TV and covering. I got a coloring book for you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the one that the the the, one? the 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 pun one that it's all swearing, and it's. Don't you have a weed one too, or is that just like a weed recipe? One? Or is that the coloring book? I have both. I thought you had a coloring yeah. book. Yeah. I want to do the swear word one. Yeah. That one's cool. I want the killer one. Annie, the one that picked that story that mm-hmm. one time we did. I think it was like Christmas or someone something i think it was her got like a coloring book you know and i found those fun coloring books in uh adam and eve and pocatello huh i ain't going to pocatello those motherfuckers are crazy crazy in pocatello they have drive-by shootings stabbings so does idaho falls we can't see that anymore it's not the 90s babe Idaho well, Falls here is just Idaho as weird Falls, as everybody just, else. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. It's too late. Maybe it is. Maybe it's, it's, it's gone. It's just very angry. Done fucked up. Too late. I don't know. Great. He's coming in July. We'll ask him. He's not. I he's know. I've refused. I absolutely refuse. <laughs> I'll call him more. Mm-mm. We'll see. No, she's not right. She needs to be, have that idiot look on her face. Well, when no, she's August not right. February. Obviously, God's not coming, but... The coronavirus <laughs> sure does help her. Maybe. I'm just saying. I know. I, I, would, I did watch that one. Um, it's the preppers. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Well, right now, those preppers aren't looking so fucking stupid, are they? No, they are not. No, no they, they are not. not. They're but sitting there in their little houses and they're laughing. It must be. They must end. I guess in order to have $45,000. You know how many people are sitting there on. going, I told you so. Yeah. 
told you in the bunker, bitch. You used to make I fun of my, my storage yeah. room. Yeah. Yep. My storage room that I said would protect us. Get in it. Mm-hmm. And that everybody wants in that storage room. Mm. Remember who your true friends were, you weirdos? Remember. Remember who They're you not, dug it, that it, hole it, for. It, it's smart. It's just... No, it is. What's the show where they go under ground and then the bar, I think it is, is built on top of another video store? Back... Last in the past. Oh, Great American Video? Yeah. Or, yeah. And he comes up to the floor and he's like, what the fuck? And it's the guy who plays George of the Jungle. Look it up. I'm like describing it perfectly to you. Where's your damn phone? I know what you're talking about. You're talking about that one cat. He was in the. The the one cat. (laughs) Yeah. He was. Brandon Fraser. Yeah. That one cat. (laughs) Yeah, that fool. That's who I'm talking about, Gene, but what's the goddamn movie called? It's like, I think it's Blast from the Past. But, like, that's what I feel like everybody's going to do. And his parents got scared uh-huh. and went crazy and took him down there when he was a kid, just like Lori Daybill's kids. And then he popped up years later. Alicia Silverstone's in the movie. Yes. What is it called? It is. He, oh, right there. It's not yeah, insane. Blast from the Past. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Bam. I'm good. Watch that movie, guys. That's what's happening. That puts light on the situation because it's funny. But I'm just saying, that's what I picture right now is everybody's doing that. Is they're going the in their bunkers. And his dad had a bitch in bunker. Yeah, I did. Yeah, she even, if had, you guys own, have seen she even that. had her own little nursery. Yeah, and they had a golf course mm-hmm. and like the swimming pool and shit. Yeah. Everybody thought it was crazy. Yep. yep. But he was balling for years. They sustained themselves for years. Decades. Before that cute little boy turned into Brandon Frazier and popped up out the ground. Mm-hmm. That wasn't his name in the show, but you know... It wasn't. And then he found pussy. And then the whole movie changed. Yep. It was about something else. About pussy. Gene. It turned it into a love story. It would have been a cool ass movie if it didn't just go really in Florida. Meanwhile, we're going into. I think there's going to be a bunch of pregnancies after Corona. Like, I think in nine months, there's going to be like a big drop of babies. Because everybody's so scared to leave that all their all is just gonna stay inside and clone. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of coitus. What's the what? Coitus fucking. There's gonna be some fucking. Oh, I've never heard that coitus? word in my life. You don't watch The Big Bang Theory? That's what Sheldon calls it. Seen parts of it. What? I haven't watched the whole series. Oh my god. That shit is so funny. Sheldon. (laughs) Sheldon Cooper is my hero. Have you ever seen Young Sheldon? Mm. Oh my god, that shit is so cute. I adore it. You guys, this is literally what you guys get for one. This week is just nonsense podcasting. And then (coughs) next week... We'll come at you serious because on the 50th, which we're almost there. Uh uh. Yeah, this is. I didn't need to bring cupcakes over. This for is that 44. One. This one will be 44. Remember so, when we used to do the podcast at my house? Yeah, back <laughs> before I was injured and I could I'm leave. Kidding. Yeah, Jean, I remember freedom, dick. <laughs> but now I don't have it. And by now. Hopefully my robins come back. Hopefully. She says she's going to come see me. So I look forward to that. So hopefully she's made it back safely. Did you text her? Well, no, Jean, because I've been sitting in front of you because we haven't stopped recording. What are you talking about before? Ding dong. Oh, before? Yeah. Like while she's been gone? Yeah. No, it, um, oh. you know. Oh, yeah. 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 I love that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna come see me when she gets back in the world. This part of it. Uh huh. So, but she'll have stories. 
Hopefully. I think Australia would be awesome to go to. Mm -hmm. But I really, I think the new goal, because like I said, I've been watching a bunch of TV, is I think I'm going to take a trip to Georgia mm -hmm. to go to the aquarium in Georgia. They, dude, they got four fucking whale sharks. Four whale sharks in a tank together. There's an aquarium here. Mass, not that big, bro. We Did, don't got no whale Denver, sharks. Do they got 12, 12 dolphins? Hours. They got 12 dolphins. It's stories, bro. It's huge. Yeah. Like millions of gallons of water in a building with animals. Went to SeaWorld and there was there was a spot. I can't remember. But obviously it was like 12 or something. But it was basically a corridor and then the glass and then the fishies were around us and stuff. Okay, yeah, see, if we go through, to this place, we a fucking whale shark can go above our head. Huge. There's supposed to be a restaurant in Vegas that... that you can eat them? No, oh. ding dong. Where the sharks sit above your head. Okay, well, we're going to go to fucking Georgia. You don't understand, Gene. It's huge. Okay, but I've been to Georgia, and I, I just have to go bad to the luck in Georgia. So. I just want to go to the aquarium. Okay. Or you can watch... Okay, go watch it on the animal planet. Mm -hmm. It's called the aquarium. Oh. Okay. They can. Dude, you're going to watch an episode and be like, I must go. But you want to go to Denver, too. Have you been? No. There. I don't leave Idaho. God keeps me from leaving my house to spare me from dealing with people. So, no. But, yeah. That's what you guys get for Tuesday. <laughs> Sunday, I mean. Sunday. Sunday. Yep. You guys get some nail stands. But I've been told by multiple people that people miss our bantering and have missed the fact that we haven't done episodes. So. Of just banter? Well, no. Well, we our episodes of us doing just talking, mm -hmm. some of them do do better than the case ones. Mm. Like the, our alien one, mm -hmm. where we do that one go on for a minute. That one does pretty well. But, yeah, I don't know. People like what they like. People hate what they hate. And haters always talk more than the people who love you, and that's just the way it is. Yeah. Because the people just love you. They don't feel the need. To go yell the fact that they love it. But people who hate, just hate. Even the five stars and the kissy emoji. No, we don't <laughs> get that. No. That would work, though. That would work, but it doesn't happen. I think we have, like, two stars on iTunes. But, like, fuck. Okay. It's two stars more than others. Right. That's I don't care. That. Yeah. I don't know. So, so, whatever. But, yeah. So... Follow us on Twitter, at it is what it is, 208, because that's where we're from, what's up? Oh, you dismissed the cute little oh. shot of her and her puppy, and the puppy was just a Pomeranian that just looked like a cotton ball. Oh, cute. And it had a look on his face, but yeah. Now that I've explained it to everybody. Yeah, we're watching 2020, so this is a crime story that we're getting into a murder here. But yeah, so follow us on Facebook, at it is what it is, a true crime podcast. On YouTube, it is what it is, a true crime podcast. And by the way, we have like 70 subscribers. Oh, sweet. I never fucking thought we'd get that many. That's Thank you. So, make it 71, I guess. Yeah. Uh, my brother's getting out soon. Good. So, hopefully I can get a hoodie made and do like a giveaway of some sorts soon. I'm hoping by July we can do our first giveaway. So... And our 50th will be a surprise, but I think that's when we're going to do my list. I think we'll do from 50 to 55, my top five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two? Sure. Maybe. I was going to do that this week, but then with all the sickness, it doesn't. Because I was going to count them down and like 50 be number one. But mm -hmm. we don't have time. Oh, and now school's canceled. Yeah. Fuck my life. Yeah, so I want to do my number one for 50, though, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Or do you want to save him for 100? That's what I was also thinking. So I don't know. I'm torn, guys. I'm torn. <laughs> I'm 
so cute. But yeah, let me know what I should do. Think for me. My number one at 50 or my number one at 100? Huh. Do you have a favorite killer gene? Um, I don't know. You shouldn't put me on the spot like that, Lord. Um, I don't know. You don't have to say who it is. I don't tell people who mine is. It's like right off the bat. Well, I do. But I'm not right now. I'm trying to be like suspenseful. I'll think on that and let you know. Okay. Maybe I can do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you still have to do PTK. Mm -hmm. So. I've done research on that. Don't you? Have you really? Your... Yes, I have. Cute. Actually. Okay. Hopefully that's coming at us soon. There's a lot of TV series. A lot. His books, magazines, fucking dude has shirts, he has fucking action figure looking at all things that people have made. It's insane. BTK. Yeah. That's gross. Trying to put your camera. It is kind of cute. And catchy. It's catchy. No. Trying to put your kill. <laughs> yeah. Totally put that on a shirt. <laughs> Alright. Check us out. Give us a good review. We're just back. We're just trying to survive. Yeah. We'll come at you guys later. Thanks, guys. See you.